close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us I know I'm looking a little like trash right now. I kind of just woke up like an hour ago <laughs> when my alarm clock rang an hour ago, but I didn't really wake up an hour ago. So let me just get a little bit more in order. So I'm back and I've fixed up my hair and I put on a different shirt and changed my pants. So I hope I'm looking a little bit more refreshed, more awake because I am a little bit more awake. Still have the same lighting, which is my vanity lighting. I'm planning on getting a ring light because I know my lighting sucks, but I'm really happy because my camera is now gonna be working. I got a new SD card, so don't have to record on my iPhone anymore, which is awesome. Today is gonna be a tutorial day. I went to Ulta yesterday with my mom in El Cajon and guess what I did? I splurged again. I don't regret it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll tell you some of the things I bought. I just bought like three things, but I took them out of the packaging. But I bought a Morphe M167 brush. I also got a Real Technique. It's a limited edition brush, which is this. It's a fan brush. I've never owned a fan brush, so kind of had to. It's so pretty, and I'm probably going to be using this today. The main event because I'm gonna be this tutorial is gonna be based on this palette I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on the 352 palette by Morphe which is this guy oh I had it upside down which is this guy it's the second nature palette so if you guys want to see what I create with this beautiful second nature palette by Morphe just keep on watching and please go subscribe and like down below I'll probably say the same thing at the end of the video, I'm going to skip through my foundation because it was the same as the last video. So I did finish up my brows and now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. And I'm going to take my shape tape since I do know this guy dries matte. Um, so I'm going to take the light neutral shape tape and I'm just going to apply that on my eyes here. And then with a sponge, I'm going to blend that out. know what I'm doing I'm not I'm just gonna like wing it and by the way I don't own that many great brushes which I wish I did I work what with what I got which I mean I am really good at working with what I got but don't judge me if the brushes are the best of brushes so I'm gonna start off with this brush that I got in my Anastasia palette it's just the fluffy side of the two-sided brush I'm going to start off with Universal just to create a transition shade. Till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase. So this is Luxie 249 and I'm taking the fluffy side of the double-sided brush. It's a little bit smaller than the other one was. I'm gonna go in with the shade Ablaze, which is this really pretty burnt orange kind of color. And then I'm just going to apply that right in the middle of my crease. Next, I like to go in with even an even smaller brush, which I'm gonna take my Glamour Dolls brush it's a I'm guessing it's a blending brush it's a very tapered blending brush it's a lot smaller than the other ones and go in with heat which is a little bit more of a red orangey fire color and with that I am going to apply that right on the outer corner Life along the way melodies we haven't played no I did was just pack on the color not much blending because I'm gonna go back in with my Luxie brush and blend out the edges a little bit I think my mom's home yeah my mom's home well maybe
yeah my mom's home my dog's barking i couldn't tell if that was the garage door opening up i like to go in with a lot of layers onto my eyes it's a lot more tapered it is by Vasanti, and i'm gonna go in with the shade let's do chestnut because chestnut's a little bit of a very deep brown with a little bit of red and i'm really just going to focus that here Okay, so this is the exciting bit because I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of carving. So I'm gonna go in with my M432 brush, which is the same brush I used to carve my brows. So I'm taking the same concealer, which is the Beyond Perfecting Concealer by Clinique. Okay, so I'm gonna carve out where I'm gonna put the next shade, which is a very exciting shade. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on my brush, just kind of cleaning it up and then I will apply it there first kind of there and then I'll close my eyes like and look up and then where I have that extra line that happened I'm gonna start carving there okay hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. So there is the carved um, lid look. It's not clean. It doesn't have to be super clean and precise because you will be, be able to fix it up, especially on the out, outer part. Because I'm going to go back in with chestnut and then I'm just going to apply that on the outer part where I put the concealer so it's not super clean. Or anything and just kind of blending that in a little bit through the wastelands through the highways and on and on we'll go okay so now that that is done, I'm going to add the big color, the one that is going to brighten up the world. So I'm taking my Morphe M167 brush, which is the new brush that I just bought, and it's a packing brush. I'm going to take Fire, which is a very, very, very bright um, red fuchsia kind of color, and I'm really just going to pack that onto my lid. These walls, fighting to create a song. I don't want to miss a beat. And on and on, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, through my shadow, through the sun. Okay, so there are the shades on my lid. I'm gonna come back real quick. I'm just gonna finish my foundation and I'll be right back to finish the eye look. Okay, so I finished my base. I finished my um, foundation, my powder, all that, except for my contour, but I'll do that on camera. So I'm gonna finish up my eye look now. So I'm gonna go in back with my Luxie 249 brush, which is this fluffy brush, and I'm gonna take a little bit of Universal and a little bit of a Blaze, which is that orange shade we used. And I'm just going to apply that on my waterline. And I'm going to apply that, well, on my lash line, not my waterline. Like, really close to my And we'll grow in number Fueled by them to see the horizon Turn us to thousands And then I'm going to take a little bit Glamour Dolls again, which is a little bit more sharp. And then I'm going to apply heat on the lash line as well I'm gonna go back in with Vasanti which is that really tapered brush and I'm gonna go in with chestnut so I'm pretty much going in with the same shades I did up here and then that I'm gonna again really close to the lash line this one's gonna be a little bit closer
So just to add that little bit of touch, going in with the flat Morphe brush that I did and going in with fire and then a, adding a little bit of fire on here as well. And then I'm just going to add a final touch to this. I'm going to take my scone brush, um, which is a smudger brush. It's a very, very, very little brush. And I'm actually going to go in back with my prism palette. And I'm going to take Lucid, which is this shade right here. And it, it's awesome because it looks really white on this. But when you put it on, it's got kind of gold specks on it. So I'm going to put this in my inner corner here. just to brighten the shade up. Take, drag it a little bit out in the front of my lash line. Do the same thing to here, just to give it a little bit of that extra glitter. This is, this is a very matte look. It's really nice to add that little bit of shimmer in the inner corner. So with this look, I will be doing eyeliner. I contemplated it for a while, but I think that eyeliner will definitely give it that extra bit of drama. I'm actually gonna do my eyeliner and my lashes off camera, so I'll be right back, but you see my Okay, so I finished my eye look pretty much. All I have to do is eyeliner in my waterline. So I'm gonna take my Stila waterproof eyeliner. Okay, well it's not focusing, but it's in the shade Deep Burgundy. And these ones are so annoying. I think they're all broken. I got it at work and I'm pretty sure they're all broken, so I have to like take it apart and put it up, but it works, so with this, I'm just gonna put this in my waterline, which is right there. So my eyes are done, so I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face. I'm gonna bronze up, and I'm gonna use my Chocolate Soleil bronzer by Too Faced, which I always do, love this bronzer. And I'm just gonna warm up my skin so it's not just all one color. And I do this really like messily, it doesn't have to be precise or anything, I'm not contouring exactly, just warming up my skin. Now that I've bronzed up, I'm gonna highlight and I'm gonna use this awesome Real Techniques fan brush, which I am very like excited to use. So I'm gonna use this one I got in my Ipsy bag I think as well, it's an Ofra highlighter, don't remember the shade of it. It's really pretty, very blinding. I've tried it before and I really gotta be careful with this. So with that, I'm just gonna apply it right. Ooh, girl. Oh my goodness, I love this highlighter. It really is blinding. Apply it here as well. Oh, you see that guys? Oh my God. Okay, so last thing is lipstick. I'm feeling kind of glowy today, so I feel like I'm gonna go in with the lip gloss, but underneath that lip gloss, I'm gonna go in with a lipstick. I'm gonna go in with Huda Beauty's Trendsetter Lipstick, liquid lipstick, and I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna put the gloss on top. worse at applying lipstick like I have to be very 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 careful and very quiet I'm gonna also apply on top of it Dolly by Buxom and I'm just gonna pat it instead of swipe it So there is the final look, bellissimas. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed how this look came out. It's very fiery, it's very different for me, and I love it. I think it looks really cute, and it's something new, and I feel like I need to step out of my comfort zone and experience new things. I definitely did that with this look today. I really hope, like I said, you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like, subscribe, comment, share this video up. Right now, I'm almost at 60 subscribers. I probably will be at 60 subscribers subscribers hopefully by the next time I post this video even if I'm not I'm so grateful for all of you guys I know most of you guys are friends and family but I really don't care I love you guys 
so much and I'm so happy you guys support me in this. I'm gonna really, really, really try hard to film videos every week, especially since I did purchase the Final Cut Pro X. I gotta use it because it was expensive. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, Vasimas, and please, please share the video and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and the